Okay, we've talked a little bit about the ski uh, as a tool, and we've talked about the, the balance point of the ski, where the turning center of the ski is and where we want to work from. We've talked about the side cut and a little bit about how to use that side cut. And, and now, if this is, if this is the, the tool that we're using, what type of inputs do we have to control actually where this takes us on the hill? Again, remembering that ski, skiing, that the way we look at it, it's happening from the snow up, not necessarily the body down. So we need to think about it a little bit different way. The inputs that we have to control this, uh, in a car it might be a gas pedal, a steering wheel, and a brake pedal. On a ski, we already have momentum that's available to us because we're on an incline, and the ski has this tendency to slide uh, when it's placed on the snow. So that will give us some momentum, but how do we change the direction? Uh, what inputs do we have to do that? And I would say basically there's three. Uh, the first one would be where we put the pressure on the ski will control it. Um, and we talked about the pressure being maintained to create the arc, an even arc, in this area of the ski. It can be moved to different places and will create different situations at that point. The other option that we have to control it is how much we edge the ski, in other words continuing to cause it to bite tighter and want to turn a tighter turn. And the third uh, way that we can control a ski is by what we would call ro rotation or um, allowing the ski to pivot uh, in the snow by twisting or adding a, a twisting force uh, to the ski. The really the two that, that we like to talk about the most and the ones that we want to use the most are pressure and edge. So those two things, if we learn how to combine them, will allow us to control where the ski uh, is going. The, the idea of pressing onto the AFD to put the pressure into the middle of the ski, and remember when we talk about that, we want the ski to bend into a more even arc and this would be the place that we would do that from. And then the other input that we have is tipping the ski and then how much we tip it, causing it to turn tighter or a more open turn. The third way is this idea of rotation. Uh, we've, many people have learned that even on the first day where we learned to do a snow plow, which basically is sliding the ski, both skis, into a more open tail open position to control our speed and obviously the idea of taking a ski and turning it sideways to its direction of travel will control our speed a little bit and we'll talk about the differences as we go on uh, between a carved turn and a steered or skidded turn and why people would choose one over the other uh, and what the benefits of each of those uh, types of turns are. So again, when we talk about input to the ski, the three inputs that we're going to talk about are edge, pressure, and what might be referred to as steering. So those are the areas that we want to really deal with in the ski. And what we'll talk about next is a little bit about how do we apply those uh, controls to the ski. And we'll get into a little bit about how the body works and how the human body has evolved and how to use what we know about biomechanics to apply those inputs uh, to the skate.